Café racers originated in post-World War II Europe, particularly in the United Kingdom. Disenchanted with the ordinary and often slow motorcycles of the time, a group of young riders sought to modify their bikes for higher performance. They gathered at cafes, hence the name, to showcase their modified machines and race from one coffee shop to another. These custom-built bikes have been capturing the hearts of motorcycle enthusiasts for decades, blending history, speed, and individuality into a unique subculture that still thrives today. In this video I'm going to present you 10 Best Cafe Racer Motorcycles in 2023. So stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe right now and hit the bell icon to get notified my future videos. As I told, Cafe Racers were first born in UK, so for number 10 motorcycle, we go to a British manufacturer that may not be well known, but produces one of the best and most beautiful cafe racers in the world. CCM Company with its Spitfire Foggy Edition. Carl Fogarty, famously known as Foggy, is a four-time world superbike champion, whose racing prowess and charismatic personality have left an indelible mark on the world of motorsports. The CCM Spitfire Foggy Edition serves as a tribute to his unparalleled contributions to the sport, combining his racing legacy with CCM's expertise in motorcycle craftsmanship. The CCM Spitfire Foggy Edition is a visual masterpiece, reflecting the sleek and aggressive style of Fogarty's racing career. With its carbon fiber bodywork, underseat exhaust system with titanium silencer, and powerful four-pot Brembo twin disc braking system. This motorcycle exudes an aura of power and performance. Powered by 600cc, liquid-cooled single-cylinder, this British cafe racer generates 65 horsepower and 66 newton meters of torque. For number 9, we have another British bike, Royal Enfield Continental GT650 Twin. Drawing inspiration from the cafe racers and cafe culture of 1950s and 60s, the new Continental GT650 Twin recaptures the spirit of the original Continental GT250 and is the next evolution of GT lineup. The sculpted tank, eager attitude, weight-forward stance, rear-set footrests and clip-on bars, all hallmarks of a traditional cafe racer, allow the rider to tuck in in a classic sporty riding position perfect for carving up the back roads or a ton of fun in the city. Equipped with a 648cc parallel twin, SOHC engine that generates 47 horsepower and 7,250 RPM. With the price of $6,349, this is good choice for cafe racer enthusiasts. For number 8 we have Moto Guzzi V7 Stone Corsa. The V7 Stone Corsa is an exclusive model with a racing spirit. Designed to let you experience the classic sportiness of Mandelo's bikes, it comes in a two-tone livery in red and silver. The color scheme combines with a stylish fairing that nods to Cafe Racer Spirit and a special saddle with a single seat to evoke the fascinating atmosphere of the world of Moto Guzzi racing. Equipped with a 853cc 90-degree V-twin engine that delivers 65 horsepower and 71 newton meters of torque, offers a dynamic and engaging ride, whether through the city streets or embarking on long-distance journeys. With the price of 9,600 US dollars, this bike is good cafe racer with Italian taste. Next up number 7, we have Ducati Scrambler Night Shift. This latest addition to the Ducati Scrambler lineup, exemplifies a perfect fusion of retro-inspired design, modern technology and urban versatility, catering to riders who seek an exhilarating yet stylish experience in the bustling city streets. Featured by side number plates, the truncated front fender, the the full black spoked wheels, and the sophisticated barrent mirrors, give this bike cafe racer attitude. The new distinctive nebula blue color, the brown seat with dedicated finish and the full black spoked wheels give night shift its decidedly street glamour look. Equipped with Ducati's renowned air-cooled 803 CCL twin engine, the Scrambler night shift delivers an optimal balance of power and agility ensuring an exhilarating and dynamic riding. For number 6, we have another bike from a noble British brand, the Norton Commando 961. The price of Commando 961 is approximately 18,000 US dollars. This high price is not without reason. 
All components of Commando are made of the best materials. The front mudguard is carbon fiber and the yokes are made from aerospace grade aluminium. The fully adjustable forks and shocks come from suspension experts at Lintz, while the brakes come from the Italian maestros at Brembo. As for the engine, that's far from simple either. Completely redesigned, re-engineered and reworked over the past 2 years. The latest 961cc parallel twin is the most advanced version to date and places a smidge over 76 horsepower in your right hand. Sometimes the old ways are the best though, which is why it's still air oil cooled. still has a dry sump and still sounds as mean as it ever did reliability never goes out of fashion either so it's been built to go 6000 miles between services meaning you get to spend more time on the road and less in the workshop next up number 5 we've got yamaha xsr 900 racer yamaha has finally launched the kit for the xsr 900 that everyone was waiting for and now owners can officially create their own retro cafe racer yamaha xsr 900 the stock xsr 900 already pays homage to some of the most iconic models from the yamaha back catalog with the new styling and paint that is evocative of the firm's 70s and 80s machines the yamaha xsr 900 racer allows fans to take that one step further with two track inspired editions The first element of the kit is the front headlight cowl, created from fiberglass reinforced plastic. It completely surrounds the headlight and is said to be inspired by the 250 and 500 cc Grand Prix race bikes of the 70s and 80s. The next element to the kit is the boxy seat cowl, which perfectly rounds off the tail unit of the bike. XSR 900 Racer is powered by a 889 cc triple cylinder that generates 117 horsepower and 10,000 rpm. Next number 4, we have Kawasaki Z900RS Cafe. The Z900RS Cafe adds a new direction to the Z900RS. Experience Kawasaki's true spirit with the Z900RS Cafe. The bike features a drop handlebar, contributing to the cafe racer styling. The handlebar is painted black, matching the bike's styling accents. The Z900RS Cafe uses shorter stays on the black mirrors, adding to its cafe racer image. The new bike also comes with a number of unique features such as a cafe racer front cowl and the bike's unique vintage. At the heart of the Z900RS Cafe lies a powerful 948cc inline 4 engine, delivering an impressive balance of power and agility. The motorcycle's responsive throttle and refined power delivery ensure an exhilarating and engaging riding experience. This beautiful cafe racer is available now on the Kawasaki USA website for $12,399. Compared to the $12,149 of the standard Z900RS, you only need to pay $250 more for this attractive cafe racer, which is really affordable. For number 3, we have BMW R9T Racer. The R9T Racer deliberately arouses memories of the sports motorcycles popular in the early 1970s. Crouched, compact and elongated, it conveys a sense of old-school sporty aspiration with its strikingly short half fairing, hump seat, stub handlebars and setback footrests, combining this overall impression with modern technology. The frame finished in aluminium silver prominently presents an architectural contrast with the black drivetrain, underscoring the standing of the R9T Racer as an old-school sports motorcycle designed for dynamic riding fun on winding roads. BMW R9T is powered by a potent, oil-cooled boxer engine with a capacity of 1170 cc and an output of 81 kilowatts equal to 110 horsepower, combined with a 6-speed transmission. Unfortunately, BMW already discontinued this amazing bike, but you can buy used or 9T racer for around 10,000 US dollar. Number 2, we've got Triumph Thruxton RS Chrome Edition. The new Thruxton RS Chrome Edition is a iconic look for the original cafe racer. Handcrafted beauty with a classic full chrome tank and stylish jet black paint scheme, available for one year only. The 2023 Triumph Thruxton RS pays homage to the iconic cafe racers of the 1960s, with its classic design cues and retro-inspired aesthetics capturing the essence of the golden era of motorcycling. Featuring a sleek and aerodynamic silhouette, a sculpted fuel tank, and a distinctive single-seat tail cowl, this motorcycle exudes an aura of timeless elegance and sophistication, 
appealing to riders with an appreciation for vintage aesthetics and modern capabilities. With its potent 1200cc parallel twin engine which delivering 103 horsepower, and $17,800 price, this bike is one of the best cafe racers currently in the market. And finally, the greatest cafe racer in the world, Norton V4CR. Just like every Norton, each CR is hand-built, and it inherits all the hallmarks of Norton's DNA with beauty in its flowing lines, the distinctive forward angle of the engine and the signature hourglass silhouette. It's also as modern as they come and outfitted with some of the best parts available, including adjustable O-Lintz front and rear suspension, Brembo brakes, solid aerospace-grade aluminium billet machine yokes, a sophisticated lean angle sensitive traction control and three engine modes, rain, road and sport. It is also the second motorbike to be powered by Norton's own liquid-cooled 1200cc, 72-degree V4 engine, which has been optimized to produce 185 horsepower at 12,500 rpm, and 125 newton meters of torque at 9,000 rpm. The combination of a handmade exhaust system and sound of the V4 engine ensures that the roads reverberate with the iconic snarling of even more Norton engines. Only one thing may make you hesitate to buy this motorcycle, the $52,000 price. With this money, you can buy a Thruxton RS, a XSR 900, and a Z900 RS, and still you have extra money. Well guys, which of these amazing cafe racers do you like to have in your garage? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you the next one.